welcome to Belfast Fashion Week TV. Tonight we kick off with the second catwalk show of the autumn winter 2014 season with a fabulous display from our independent designers and local boutiques. really fantastic array of local design talent, both homegrown designers and also locally owned independent boutiques. We've got people like Lizzie Agnew, Marie-Claire Ferguson Milliner, Melanie Bond, Gordon Donaldson, Gronya Maher, Julia Sokole, Katie Wilson, Indigo Ivy with their amazing tweeds, Goddess and Swift, Alexandra Heath who's brand new and super young, Chloe Dugan, Nora Lisa and Tara Dixon, another really young designer at just 16 years old. We've also got really fabulous designs from boutiques like Diamond Dolls and Bridge, Spoilt Bell and Maher Felt have some really sparkly numbers which are great and then of course Blush and Jordan on the Lisburn Road who are real Fashion Week staples. They've been with us for the last 10 years and 18 seasons believe it or not. The hair was fabulous last night. What are we creating this evening? So tonight we're keeping it quite similar. A lot more styles are down. Uh, with it there's a lot more hats going on tonight so we want to try and incorporate that into the style so it's easy to put pop on and pop off. Tiffany, it's your very first Fashion Week hosting on stage. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels really good. I've gone from dresser, model to host, so I've done everything and anything I can do in Fashion Week. So to be a host is, I suppose, the piece of resistance and I'm absolutely honoured to be doing it. And what are you wearing on stage? I have a gorgeous two-piece um, red number from Blush, so it's gorgeous. I absolutely love Blush and anything that I get from there, so very excited to go for it all. Lizzie, is there a piece in your collection that you're especially excited about this evening? Well, um, I always like to try and do new things and um, this year I've been experimenting with vintage and antique kimonos and there's one piece in particular which yeah, I've just finished. It's, I love it. It's, I think it's really beautiful. So very excited about that. Yeah. And more excitement. Tell me about your daughter Molly. What's she up to this evening? I know. Well, Molly actually um, first model for me back in 2009 and she came out as a flower girl and how, how old were you then? About eight? Yeah, yeah. yeah, she was eight. And then yeah, she's 13, 13 and a half now so I thought why not? She can come and model something maybe a little bit older. Happy anniversary Fashion Week! big fan. Tell me, what can we see for your second collection on the catwalk? So my second collection is very contemporary, very different from my first one. I've scrapped all the colours. I have everything made, everything white. It's all different kind of textures, different shapes. Um, so it's very exciting. And what are you selling tonight? Yeah, so the sweatshirts are something just a bit more casual for every day uh, for my friends and family to wear. About your stand. We are launching our online boutique which is really exciting. So it's really about getting the information out there to know that you can buy online from Blush which is totally new to us and we want to, our customers to know about it. It's just a dress from England and then just a couple of accessories an arm bracelet, um, I've got a bit of henna on, and just some little bits. I'm wearing a top from Topshop, a skirt from River Island, a Chanel handbag, and a peacock hat. Grania, you're just back from London Fashion Week. How does Belfast compare? Belfast really is equally as vibrant, I would say, as London, to be quite honest. I mean, I have just come back from there, but the buzz that we have here tonight is just fantastic. And the beauty about Belfast Fashion Week, of course, is, is that you're showing stuff that is in season. So this is a time for the likes of myself or all the boutiques to try and sell some stuff and show the stuff that people want to be wearing right now. How many seasons have you been modelling at Belfast Fashion Week for now? Wow, 
Um, this year is 10-0 for Fashion Week, and that means there are 20 seasons. I nearly did them all. Nearly all of them? Yeah. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> and you must have a favorite outfit this evening. Can you tell me what it is? Well, it's really hard a question to answer because tonight is designer night, and they're all really talented, so no comment. <laughs> Everything is beautiful. Yes. room in a sea full of pink. How does it feel to have your illustration on all these gorgeous bags? Um, it's quite surreal actually. I hadn't realised it was going to be the bags this year, so um, it's really nice. Rebecca, what are you wearing? I am wearing blush tonight. Super figure hugging. I love the print, something a little bit different, but sure, it's fashion week. You have to make the effort. Brenda, your shop is like a treasure trove. Tell me what will we be seeing this evening? Thank you, Katie. Well, I have a completely different range on tonight. Um, bright colours for the winter, uh, actually. Um, cashmere coats, large swing type coats and tartan as well. And I've got a fabulous gown on, which is cream, with all little tiny um, rosebuds all over it. And it's called Cupcake. So the two bra uh, boob area is actually covered with the cream. That's it's very Madonna, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Tara, this is your first time participating in Belfast Fashion Week. What's it been like? Oh, well, it's really exciting, but it's so nerve wracking, like getting all these dresses done in the space of like a month and a half, and I'm still in school, so I've been working on it after school every day, and it's just. I'm kind of glad to be over, but I'm really excited to see them up on the catwalk. Gordon, you won the competition for the Diet Coke Design Award last year. Tell me about your upcoming collection. Um, well, it was my first main collection, so I really went for it. I started with four main trends, being the pastel pinks, obviously from the Diet Coke dress itself, it's actually opened in the show. And then I've gone into geometric prints and a bit of monochrome, and then I finished on some quirky bridal looks, so I'm really excited about this collection. Hi Claire, I've got my eye on so many nice pieces here. Can you talk me through one of them? Um, well, from the stall here, I think this is my favourite. It's a hand blocks teardrop piece and I sort of individually stuck on every single one of those pearls, which took quite a while. Wow. But, um, and then with this plume, I think it's quite a dramatic piece, which I think would make a great bridal piece, but Absolutely. I've yet to find a bride to wear. Sinead, this little pink number caught my eye. Yes, we've got two pink pieces here. Um, they're both for charity. As you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we've got one called the Strength Bracelet. And elephants are a traditional symbol of strength. And so it's leather and gold plated. And then the rose gold blush one is called the Inspire. And all the net proceeds of these go for breakthrough breast cancer. So it's beautiful brilliant charity. What a lovely idea. Marissa, what's new this season? Hi, hi Katie. Uh, this season we have gone for all out uh, dress up. A uh, bit of fantasy, uh, lots of fun. Uh, we've got our signature hand printed painted fabrics and used sort of in a very playful but uh, elegant grown up way. And uh, we've got our uh, tailoring and beautiful tweeds as well. As well. You're exhibiting tonight? Yes, I am. I'm showing some uh, metallic pieces mixed with gold and greens. I have a lot of lace in the collection and sheer fabrics, which I usually incorporate into my designs. Um, it's quite dramatic, so hopefully the audience will like it. 